Stephen, thanks so much for joining us. Yeah, thank you for having me. Sounds like you got some people in your store who's saying you did a good job by protecting yourselves the other night. There's six of them in here right now. And what are they saying? Oh, everybody's just happy that the guns, uh, I was able to stop all the guns from getting on the street. Everybody was happy in the positive, uh, the force taking and stopping the murder from uh, uh, actually uh, robbing a legitimate firearms uh, dealership and allowing these guns to get out there. I think you'll agree with me, though. It's not a real good idea to hold up a gun store, is it? No, I mean, uh, our personal experience is in here is that uh, everybody that works in this gun store has a firearm on the side. Yeah. Uh, they can walk within five or six foot, and there's another one laying up underneath a, a little hat somewhere stuck on the side. There's, I mean, there's firearms everywhere. Yeah. But here you are the other night asleep in your apartment when you hear this loud crash. What was running through your head when you first heard it? Uh, completely, uh, uh, is this for real? Um, you know, waking up out of complete stupor, um, get up out of bed, walk to the door, open the door over here, glass breaking. Uh, because I didn't know what time it was. I thought I just overslept that my son, uh, uh, well, my stepson come into work. And, I, you know, was, when I opened the door up and uh, literally heard all the glass breaking, I knew there's somebody inside the shop robbing us. Unbelievable. And, so what'd you do? I uh, immediately just uh, reached behind the door, pulled an LMT short barrel rifle, class three rifle off the wall that was had a 30 rounds of uh, uh, Hornet that tap ammunition in it. And I walked 50 foot through a, a, a little plastic divider door with you know, those little curtains and stuck my head through the door and seen these black shadows in this blacked out gun shop moving. And, and, and I started fire after they, uh, you know, they said, Shoot the mother. And these men yeah. were loading the guns into their van, weren't they? It, it took, from the moment that, by our best estimates, from the moment that the van crashed through the building, in the center of the building, this van's in the center of the building, and with metal wall all draped all around it with insulation and ceiling panels around it, They, by the time they've knocked out five showcase fronts, the tops on it, loaded 27 individual firearms in that van and literally two upper LMT receivers into the top of the van, you know, into the uh, van itself. And it, this is in less than a minute's time, show you how professional these crooks are. Wow. Literally, you know, I mean, uh, the police would have had no time to respond to the burglar alarm if I wouldn't have called them. Wow. And they started yelling at, at you when they saw you? No, oh, and they, they just said, you know, shoot me, shoot him. You know, I mean, that's all the worst that they said, shoot him. Yeah, I mean, yeah. It's, it's unbelievable. And this is not the first time that you've been robbed. No, that's the reason why uh, we built the flat inside of the, uh, this building is actually 8,000 square foot. And um, we were robbed in 2009, and they uh, got, well, 18, 19 firearms out of it then. And then again in 2010, they uh, got two uh, Smith & Wesson rifles from me. And um, and then this makes the third time since 2009. So you and decided to put an apartment in the back of the shop? It's actually inside the shop itself. Okay. How does your wife feel about this, knowing all that's going on? My wife, absolutely. She's supportive of everything because it's our livelihood involved with this. Mm -hmm. You know, you know, and, and that's just... Uh, it's just the nature it is. I mean, this thing, you figure we lived here for basically two years with no drama, period. I mean, just peace, quiet, shut the store down, the doors come in. We got our own way to enter the building to, uh, from the, going to the flat in the back of it. I mean, just peace and quiet, solace. You know, I mean, we got 4,400 square foot of a place to live in. How much more do you want? We don't have any children. Mm -hmm. you know. yeah. Yeah. And, and the sergeant, the, 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 uh, Sheriff Sergeant said, you did the right thing. Well, I mean, they said, uh, uh, you know, I, I stopped firearms from being stole by a uh, heathen. You know, uh, and, and these people absolutely are professional criminals. They've already linked these three gentlemen to two more burglaries of other gun shops. So how many more guns, do, you know, uh, 
down the street prior to this. You know, um, and, and the whole thing about them is that it's something that I would never wanted to do, but, you know, it's just I was just protecting the, everything that we work for. Mm-hmm. You know, and if more people literally took this stand and armed themselves up with and it, that you stop these thugs, yeah. you know, and, and I mean, I didn't go out to commit any type of crime or anything like this, but I never thought this would ever happen like this either. Well, as you said, it's about self-defense. Well, and- I mean, when, when somebody, you know, I had full intentions of seeing what the trouble was when, it, you know, I didn't run. I walked from my apartment into the flat, into the, 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 the gun shop. They're completely separate. When I walked into it and walked through this, it, I literally have a black freezer curtain, you know, like you see in freezers, these plastic curtains. And, and it separates because the, the middle part of the building is not air conditioned or heated. And when I walked through that and it showed my outline right there and it, it was on. You know, mm-hmm. I mean, it was completely on. I mean, uh, I uh, uh, just hear these guns and the glass breaking and, and all this stuff going inside this, you know, I, it was so black I couldn't tell it was a van. I literally thought it was a pickup truck sitting in my little middle of our floor. Unbelievable. And all that, you know, and all thing I've seen these outline of these silhouettes moving it in the store, you know, and, and, that's, and, and that's what I shot at. Do you have anybody come in today and say, you know what, after what happened to you, I need to get a firearm for my own protection? Well, let me tell you what it said. I've got the gentleman in here right now fixing to purchase a, a, a 91, a HK 91, and it, um, it is a 93, I believe he's purchasing a 93. So it, it's just the nature of the beast all the way around. It's not, and, and, and the support, let me tell you what, from everything from firemen to police to everybody else that come by here and said, Stephen, you've done the right thing. You need any counseling? Well, we give you all the counseling you need. Thank you very much. People coming in to donate and building material and everything else to sit in and rebuild our store. Mm-hmm. You know, this thing had a 20 foot wide hole in it. And, you know, it, people, the contractors coming here from Orangeburg, South Carolina, two hours away to sit there, reconstruct, rebuild what in the world that happened. You know, um, and, and it's, the, it's the time that the American homeowner and business person stand up for what is right and, and self protect themselves. And South Carolina has a law called the Castle Law in it. You can protect everything that you own, and, and and thank God for the NRA and everything else that defends our rights to yeah. own and bear firearms, you know, and that's it. Well, thank you for doing what you do, too, and thanks. I'm so thankful things turned out, and let's hope that uh, you send a message to the criminal. Stay away. You know, the, the irony of it, and the, well, there's two signs on, signs on this building. There's a big old metal roll-up that Aiken overhead door installed. Lily uh, says on it that, well, 24 hour armed guard, yep. seven days a week. That's on one door, and on the other door, it has nothing beyond this point is worth your life. You know, I mean, they didn't take it for heart.